All right, guys, here we have a 2008 Toyota Tundra Crew Cab. 4x4 TRD off-road package with a locking rear differential Bilstein shocks, true TRD off-road package with 111,000 miles. I might have already said that. It's been owned in Bellevue, Washington, so it's been a real pavement pounder. And uh, it's 100% bone stock, gorgeous, super reliable truck for someone. So here we go. Uh, so the highest mileage Toyota in the world is a 2008, same year as this, same color as this. So if you Google highest mileage Toyota in the world, it's got 1.6 million miles on it. So check it out, same color as this. So that's a testament to how long they'll go. This one has 111,000 miles. So extremely low mileage for its age. Let's go through the rig here. I absolutely love this blue paint. It is gorgeous. It's got brand new tires all the way around. It is a factory TRD off-road package. It's got a couple little dents in the tailgate. We're having those removed. Uh, on Tuesday, my guy hasn't been back out here. Those will be taken care of. They'll look spotless. Um, it has the TRD bed liner. It's got a little, little teeny bit of paint up there that's been spilt in there. It's got the power outlet in the back, the D-ring sliders, sliding rear window, This is a ton of truck for the money um, and will retain its value. I mean, insanely well. Uh, there's no better vehicle on earth for retaining its value. Best resale value of any truck sold worldwide for the last nine years. Um, doesn't get better than this, guys. Uh, it does not have a sunroof. It does have heated leather seats from the factory and the factory JBL system. So this would be very comparable to a limited edition. Uh, it's got the locking rear differential, fog lights, uh, 115 volt outlet, downhill ascent control, rollover crash airbag uh, that you can shut off and, and uh, traction control there, uh, hands-free radio controls. Uh, let's go ahead and fire it up. Uh, 111,560 miles. You've got dual side heated seats. You've got all the factory JBL audio system. It has a JBL subwoofer that I'll show you behind the passenger seat. Uh, it has, of course, cruise control hands-free radio controls. Let's go ahead and function the four-wheel drive for you. So if it doesn't function in right away, which it doesn't on most Toyotas, unless you put it in gear, then just move the truck forward and backward a little bit. It just releases pressure on that transfer case. There we go, what the heck. I'm in a kind of confined space, so I didn't want to back up too much. Uh, so we're locked in four-wheel drive high there, and then you go into neutral, and you go into four-wheel drive low, and that shuts off your traction control, your VCS, and then you press your locking rear differential button, and that's another one where sometimes you gotta put it in gear, and there you go. As soon as it clicks in gear, it makes it to where it doesn't hit on a tooth, the electronic solenoid actually pushes the pin in and then instead of hitting on a tooth, you put it in gear and move it forward a little bit. You don't wanna punch it forward, just lightly rock it and it will engage. So uh, neutral to go out of four low. And then I normally shut off the lock. If I mean, locking rear differentials just if you're super stuck in the mud and then put it in gear to disengage that. And then same thing with the four-wheel drive. And that's disengaged. Uh, four-wheel drive works perfectly. These are phenomenal four-wheel drive systems. So let's go through the interior a bit. We'll go under carriage and then we'll go under the hood. The 
beautiful gray leather upholstery. Factory tow package. And let's see here. I believe that, yes, so there's the factory JBL subwoofer back there. And then it's got a little storage behind there. And you have your jack and all your tools in there. We'll slap that back down. All right. And then you've got your leather upholstery on this side. JBL, all the original floor match, which is cool. Uh, still in really good shape. I mean, this whole truck's in phenomenal condition. And then let's go to undercarriage shot. That is how you know a truck has been a pavement powder. Look at how clean that is. Uh, blue and yellow Bilstein shocks, which are obviously the, all the TRD off-road package. Tacomas and Tundras have those. All the skid plates underneath, gorgeous. CV axles, clean and dry, absolutely no leaks whatsoever. Uh, same as all of our vehicles, guys. We can warranty anything for up to 100,000 miles, as always. Engine and transmission, transfer case, and look at that frame. Beautiful. All you folks over in New York City, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, we do ship. If you want a corrosion-free vehicle, you know, get it over there, put a little undercoating on it so it takes less time to rust and you'll have a beautiful vehicle for an extremely long time. Beautiful. Runs like a sewing machine. And then <coughs> emissions and catalyst tags. All the VIN numbers on every fender. You know, I get asked about this a lot, so I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna show it right now. The early model Tacomas, they all did this. So the rainwater seeps in between here and it just sits on that paint. It's kind of like a tray and it wears right here. I had a lot of customers ask me, well, has this fender been repainted? You know, especially on the white ones, it does this. No, this fender has not been repainted. That's 100% factory stock. These bolts have never been turned. Those have got the factory paint on them and that's the factory VIN number right there. This is a factory defect on uh, the Tacomas and it doesn't bleed over into the rest of the paint. So it's not something you really have to deal with. Uh, you know, I, you could touch it up if you wanted to, but there's no point. I just kind of wanted to address that since I get asked about it when they pop the hood sometimes and uh, better just address it in the video. Brake fluid, as always guys, Japanese red coolant. If it's any other color, that's a big red flag. This is a gorgeous truck. Uh, it's not gonna last long, so check it out. And uh, thanks for watching.